Hi, I'm Ross, Lifetime Natural Bodybuilder. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate my back, chest, and shoulder training session. So unfortunately this week, I've only had access to this gym uh, for two days. So this will be the first session, back, chest, and shoulders. The second session will be legs and arms, and I'll do that video in a couple of days. So I'm gonna run through the exercises that I've done, the thought process behind the exercises that I've chosen, some tips and techniques that you can perhaps utilize to your uh, training if you're training now or when the gyms reopen um, so before i start if i could ask you to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more true natural bodybuilding videos and motivation if you enjoy the video or find it informative then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click on the little notification icon the, the bell icon to be made aware of any videos i upload automatically thanks for watching and stay strong okay so the first exercise is a straight bar pull down quite a wide grip on this and I use a hook grip so I don't uh, put the thumb under but just put the thumb over the top hold with quite a loose grip and the palm open and I feel that just enables me to get a better contraction in the lats I, I don't I'm not quite as tempted to squeeze the bar and therefore perhaps be a little bit more reliant on my forearms or bicep so a nice kind of loose open grip um, as much stretch as I can um, and then really what I'm trying to do is as I pull the bar down, I'm trying to almost push the chest up and just accentuate that arch in the lower back a little bit more. Um, it's never been an exercise that I've done that much of. I've put it into my back regime since Christmas and I've, it feels really good. Um, basically, I'm using this to really warm up the lats and to get a, a good mind to muscle connection, get a good pump to make it easier to feel the back on the heavy compounds. And it's a tactic I've used before with legs, with chest, shoulders, and it works very well. So in isolation, primarily for higher reps, 15 to 20, maybe 25 reps, we do four sets of that on the pull downs. After those uh, sets, my back is on fire. My lats are really, really pumped, and when I come to doing the next row, be it a barbell row, which we've been doing lately, or today, uh, which is the chest supported incline row, single arm, we, we, we did this um, as a change from the barbell row it just enables me to feel it in the lats a lot better got a better mind to muscle connection and straight away i'm already kind of pumped in the lats and it just for me feels a lot better and i think back is one of those areas where if you're not careful you can really miss out on the mind to muscle connection and getting the adequate contraction that you're really looking for rather than just kind of going through the motion so we do it a further three sets on that uh, ascending weight and i'm really trying to pull it quite low i'm not trying to get the bar up high um, I'm concentrating on stimulating the lats as much as I can um, and obviously to do that the handle needs to be a little bit lower if it comes too high you'll start using more traps uh, and upper back more so which would uh, defeat the kind of purpose of that exercise so we move on to shoulders uh, we only did one shoulder exercise the seated dumbbell press two warm-up sets and one uh, two working sets rather working set is at 32.5 kilos kind of awkward dumbbells to lift quite wide and they feel like they want to rotate in the hands a bit but gets the job done nevertheless constant tension on these so i'm coming all the way down um, maybe a centimeter off the shoulder or so and then just stopping short um, before i get to that lockout point and if you can keep the weight moving in this fashion the pain just accumulates that that shoulder burn accumulates um, I think it's a really, really cool way of training shoulders. And the last one, I lock out. Um, obviously, the lockout is going to primarily emphasize the triceps. So it doesn't really make much sense to kind of bottleneck the, the shoulder press by locking out every single rep. Um, so yeah, we do two sets of that, um, 12 to 20 reps. And then I move on to the chest workout. The chest workout, we do um, lots of warm-up sets, primarily because the bench press is one of the most uncomfortable movements for me. It never really feels that good. Shoulders always feel a little bit niggly, um, but the dumbbells really aren't quite heavy enough. I'd rather do like a heavy barbell movement. Um, so the, the reason why I'm doing pre-exhaustion with the um, cable flyers is just that it takes away a lot of that uncomfortable feeling in the shoulders when I come to pressing. The added bonus is that the chest gets pumped really, really quickly. As I mentioned in my back work, the mind to muscle connection is far, far better after doing the chest flies. And I'm able to feel the bench press in the pecs as opposed to the front delts. Now, if I hadn't have done the um, flies beforehand, I would be lifting more weight. 
I'll be doing a lot more reps on this weight. I mean, the weight's only 105 kilos. It feels really, really heavy because I've already gone to failure on the flies. But it feels really good on the chest. After like three or four reps, my chest is screaming. I would never get that kind of pain and that, that connection with that low reps, um, if not for pre exhaustion. So it's a nice technique to use. The added bonus is that it's a lot safer on the shoulder for me. Um, it just no, it doesn't niggle anywhere near as much as if I just do a straight sets of bench. So it's a cool tactic to throw in every now and again, and it's really, really intense. The pump in the chest is, is mind-blowing. So then for the last exercise, we finish on pull-ups. Four sets, two using the band on the knee, just to warm up the lats. Um, and again, just kind of increase that, that lat pump before moving on to the heavy stuff, where I think sometimes with the heavy stuff, there's a tendency not to think about the movement and and the muscles being used just to kind of go through the motions and just you know get yourself up any anyhow possible when you do this this kind of gradual warming up focusing on building up a pump before you get to the heavy stuff then yeah your performance will be slightly worse but you'll just feel it a lot better and you're reliant on i think more of the working the target muscle um, rather than just kind of getting yourself up by any means possible so we do two with a band then with body weight, using a little bit of a light spot on the last couple of reps, and then with the weight, and again, using a spot for my training partner to increase the intensity of the set and go past that point of failure, but with good form. So thanks for watching. The next video will go over my leg and arm session, and I'll upload that within the next couple of days. Once again, thank you for watching, and stay strong.